Experiment 138. The titration of acid with sodium hydroxide. Titration is a classic method of quantitative analysis. The titration itself is conducted with a volumetric burette. The burette is a cylindrical tube with a volumetric scale, the scale width being 0.1 milliliters. The second decimal has to be estimated. As a rule, the raw sample cannot be analyzed directly, but has to be diluted prior to titration. An accurate volume of the original sample is taken with a volumetric pipette, brought into a volumetric flask, and diluted with water. All this sounds simple, but because of the need for accuracy, the equipment has to be prepared thoroughly before being used. To start with, the pipet has to be cleaned. Flushing with water is a logical step to start with, but adhering water will definitely disturb the concentration of the original sample. So, the adhering water has to be removed prior to filling with sample. Therefore, standard procedure reads three flushing treatments with demineralized water and three times with sample. Also, the volumetic flask has to be prepared by flushing. It's important to realize here that the volumetic flask will be used to add an accurate amount of solvent, so flushing should be conducted with demineralized water only. Now the pipet has to be filled with sample. We fill the pipet using a balloon to some centimeters above the mark. We dry the outside of the pipet with filter paper. Then, in order to get an accurate amount of sample, we let the surplus flow back into the beaker at an angle of 45 degrees. We empty the pipet gently into the volumetic flask, again at an angle of 45 degrees, and wait for about 10 seconds after finishing. Finally, the sample in the volumetric flask has to be diluted by addition of demineralized water. We carefully add the final drops until the lowest point of the meniscus reaches the mark. Dry the inside of the top of the volumetric flask with filter paper. And next, swirl gently at least 10 times to homogenize the sample. Now the sample is ready for analysis. The burette has to be prepared. Just as was the case with the volumetic pipette, the burette has to be cleaned in such a way that adhering liquid does not disturb the concentration of the titrant, which is in our case a solution of sodium hydroxide with a concentration expressed in three significant figures. Again, the flushing procedure comprises three treatments with demineralized water. and three treatments with titrant.
The burette can now be filled with titrate. Allow a bit of titrant to escape in order to avoid air bubbles in the tap. We will then use a volumetric pipette to install an accurate amount of diluted sample. Here we will only show you the last flushing of the pipette with diluted sample. In total we flushed the pipette three times with demineralized water and three times with diluted sample. The sample is brought into an Erlenmeyer flask. If desired, more water can be added. Finally, we add a few drops of indicator solution, in this case phenolphthalene. Now we write down the initial volume of titrant and start titrating drop by drop. A mechanical stirrer can be used or we have to swirl gently. We have to proceed until a drastic change of color is observed. The change has to be stable for at least 10 seconds. Note down the final volume of titrant and repeat the titration two more times. The difference between the three values is not allowed to exceed 0.1 milliliters. If that's the case, more determinations are required. When titrating a strong acid like hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide solution, the reaction equation reads 